Hey guys, Courtney Mermaid here. Sorry that it's a bit grainy. I will go somewhere where there's better light. Yeah, Eric's making dinner in the background. Eric, what are you making? It's a little bit of fish. It's cooking my cousin. I'm kidding. Um, I'm In this vlog, I'm going to attempt to go swimming in a mermaid tail. As I have not been swimming in a mermaid tail in... Well, it's over a year. <laughs> A year and a few months, I think, now. I don't even... I don't even know. And I haven't been in a really long time, so I'm going to use a spandex tail instead of one of my fancy painted tails. Um, just because I want to make sure that I'm safe. Always be safe in your mermaid tails, guys. Know your limit. Swim within it! Whoa! Oh! <laughs> wow! Yeah, I didn't just do that. Um, Alfie is is hanging out too. He's like, hey guys, don't forget to check out Alfie's new channel. Yeah, I made my dog a YouTube channel uh, and a website, so go check that out. That's dailybark.ca. Give give him a, a subscribe or a like or something. Show the love for my dog, my little guy. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna bring you guys with um, for a portion of it. I'm probably gonna turn this into two videos. One's more of like a vlog and one that's just going to be the swimming. Um, but you all are not allowed to make fun of me because I am going to wear a one piece and I am going to wear a tail together and I am going to wear goggles because again, safety first and I haven't been swimming in a tail in a really long time and I'm not sure how I'm going to fare. So I want to make sure that I'm being safe and I'm going to have... So mermaid. So mermaid! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Apparently that's my new saying now. If you don't know where that's from, it's from this video here. There's a link or a thing, something right here. Uh, it's from the. <laughs> I'm gonna try this out, see how it works. Um, no, it was from my last swimming video where I was just in my monofin hanging out with Mermaid Moongazer and making a, a bit of a fool of myself, being like the most anti mermaid mermaid ever. It was pretty funny. Anyways, so I got a pack. All my stuff, I gotta make sure that my camera's charged because I do wanna get some underwater stuff just to, like, even just for me as like a baseline to see where I'm at so I can see where I need to work uh, still more on. And my tail, my, my tail, my swimsuit, the thing, we gotta eat dinner. That's gonna be important. And that's it. So, um, yes, let's, let's do this whole thing. So mermaid, it's a thing. <laughs> Um, okay, so yeah, this is the tail. There's the monofin. I'm gonna put that inside. Um, I can show you how I do that super quick if you guys want to see. Hi, Alfie! Alright, here's the angle of my apartment you don't see very often. Uh, <laughs> okay, so monofin, tail. Um, I should probably do like a thing so you guys can actually see. There you go. Okay, so my tails are designed and all my tutorial tails are made the same way. They're only sewn a portion of the, where is it, a portion of the way. So what you do, and you do need to be careful when you're doing this, you don't wanna yank and tug and pull on your tails like this. You know, whether you made it yourself or you bought it from somebody, it's a work of art and it should be treated with respect. So I don't wanna see people like ripping and pulling. Try and be a bit sensible. I reinforce the, the portions of, uh, where it's gonna get stretched. So here gets reinforced and then there gets reinforced. For reference, that's like the inner part of the tail. And the monofin is just gonna slip right in like that. So, wow, this hasn't even been in the water yet. You can tell, I don't know if it'll show up, but there's actually still some of my chalk line on there. Um, that's the right side, okay. Ugh. <clears throat> So you kind of like, uh, if you're a girl, it's kind of like if you've ever put on leggings, you kind of scrunch them up a little bit and then kind of grab and pull it around. And what I do here is I pull it and I kind of squeeze it up and on like that. And then I'll stick my hand in and just adjust the buckles so it's not snagging on the fabric. Again, I'm being very careful to hold and like help my seams so I'm not just ripping and pulling. It's a triple stitch that I use to do these. This isn't going anywhere. Like I've made all my tails like this and I've never had a hole. 
I've never had a hole in one of my tails in the seam. So um, I like to keep it that way. So now you'll see that this doesn't just slide on perfectly because it has to have somewhere to grab. So what you do is you pinch on the inside, the closest part that's gonna touch the monofin, you pinch and you pull until it pops over and then just slide it right on. And then it'll fit in there just like a little pocket. And then you can just adjust. And now the same thing on the other side. I'll give you a different angle. It's hard to show with all the fringe. Um, so I grab that reinforced point um, and then up and then over. There you go. So be careful. <laughs> it's really easy to just yank and pull and do and whatever and you're gonna ruin your tail and you're gonna really bum out your tail maker when you have to send it back for an obvious repair where it was just a thing that you could have just pulled here instead of yanking at the end. Just saying, it's not like this has happened. I've never had anybody return a tail or be like, this is a thing. It's just when I see other girls doing this, I don't say anything. It's not like I'm like, hey, by the way, um, what are you doing? <laughs> it's just, it's just, um, it's good practice. Okay, just saying, just saying, it's just good practice. Okay, so that's that. A few minor adjustments. And there she is, ready to hit, hit the pool. So that's, that's the tail I'm going to be wearing tonight. Just a nice basic, a basic tail, just to get my, just to get my fins wet again. If, yeah, okay, that's it. <laughs> okay, we are just about ready to go. We had a bit of a goggle related fiasco, right? But everything's good now. We found goggles for both of us because I really don't want to swim without goggles tonight because it's been yeah. so bloody long and I'm having like a little bit of a freak out over it. <sighs> yeah. That's Guys, a whole... she's going to be really good. Just a little bit nervous. This has been a while. So understandable. It has been beyond a while. Do you understand how stupid last year was? Do you, like, 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 comprehend it. Do that for like another you know 45 minutes and you'll kind of <sighs> all right only about let's just get this over with okay let's just get me in a tail get some footage and just do this this thing all right so first time in a bit over a year in the tail it's a lot harder than i remember it being <laughs> And uh, even though it feels really, really good to be back in the tail, I tried to do a handstand. <laughs> That's okay. You know what? Today was just about getting in the tail and getting over um, a little bit of a hurdle that I've been dealing with. So that's at least something. It is, you know, just a baby step uh, because there's quite a bit of anxiety going along with just getting... Well, I'm afraid my whole head's going to rip right yeah. off. Look at that. You know, it took a year to get to this point. I'd like to not, yeah. you know. So, yeah. anyways. Yeah. Um, that's that. And the tail feels great, though. I'm really... If, I don't know what it looks like on camera, but it feels very comfortable. You know? So, I'll probably take a look now if you don't mind. Yeah. So I did it. I am just waiting for Eric. And I swam in my mermaid tail for the first time in well over a year. And I'm feeling pretty good about that. I'm really tired and I'm kinda sore. But I'm gonna have a hot shower when I get home and that's gonna be good. But uh, boy, it felt really good to be back in the water. <laughs> And I feel kind of foolish now for making such a big deal about, um, such a big deal about getting back in the water. But I was just so afraid that something really horrible was going to happen because I've had so many ups and downs and I was just so scared. So <sighs> we're, we're going to be signing off. I want to say two things before we go. Cecilia, if you're watching my video, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for encouraging me to get my butt back in my tail and being 
yeah, just being really sweet to me today. It was really nice. So thank you for that. I did it. This is the video evidence, so thank you. And then thank you, a huge thank you to this dude, this guy right here, for giving up his precious uh, breath of the wild time to, you look at the, look at it. <laughs> his precious breath of the wild time to take me swimming and to be a doll and, and just, Put up with my garbage and my nonsense and for filming everything it's all good yeah it's all good in the hood i, I love this guy in the pool a little bit myself <laughs> this guy's really special i don't really deserve him oh I'm, don't be silly. no i'm pretty lucky it's yeah. a good team right here guys yeah. it's, it's a good team, team effort so it's a good team all right sweet so a bit of a random one but if you like that video please feel free to give it a thumbs up um and subscribe and uh, you know what, if you've had an experience like I have where you haven't been able to swim in your tail for a while, you know, you have some thoughts, how you felt, the whole deal, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below, down there, leave me a comment. Let's, let's talk about all this cool stuff. <laughs> Anyways, um, there will be a swimming video, it's either out before this or after this, but of some of the underwater fun stuff. Okay, uh, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and for your support, you guys. I love you all, and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Okay, 